realize the SDGs and Africa's Vision 2063, we must empower women. Rural women in particular play an important role in food production in sub-Saharan Africa. They provide up to 80% of agricultural labor force. However, there exist gender gaps in agricultural productivity that must be addressed in order to empower women. Wanawake sana sana wamefurahi kwa sababu unajua ni wao wana wanakaa nyumbani, wanapata pesa na hizo pesa imeweza kuwasaidia sana. In Kenya, the journey to close the gap in gender parity has embarked in Meru, Tana River and Makweni counties. This is where women like Margaret Gesheke and Magdalene Danu are finding their feet. Like most women in these regions, mango farming is their source of income and employment. <laughs> For years, women in these communities have been struggling with post-harvest losses. They lacked access to agricultural technologies for post-harvest handling. This meant good deals with less profits. The big problem is where to take them. We don't have variation. So they got rotten and we get a very great loss. My ability to me have a quito, can I quito me undani, media water waste. Not about in the mind, the codete quosania, make a loo to cake is here, cana or guku. Since 2016, UN Women in partnership with other organizations have been implementing projects aiming to increase access to post-harvest technologies for rural women in mango production. This is a project which is a partnership between Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, uh, UN Women and uh, TechnoServe and uh, the Stockholm Environment Institute. Uh, the project is 100% funded by Rockefeller Foundation to help the four different institutions involved uh, to carry out research. But research which has an angle towards support for women uh, through technologies. This pilot project seeks to solve the limitations women farmers face. UN Women has done several studies and one of the things we found out is that there are inequality in agricultural productivity between man and woman. So UN Women's involvement with JECO has ensured that there is a machine we say that is gender responsive, a machine which the women can use. The scheme involved farming groups engaging in a competition to win a multi-purpose fruit blending machine and a starter kit worth about 5,000 US dollars. It has a capability of grinding seven to eight tons of fruits within six working hours. The farmers were trained on how to use the equipment and to make mango value-added products which included mango jam, set yogurt, normal or stirred yogurt, ready-to-drink and concentrated mango juice. The machine can be used for other fruits like watermelon, passion fruits, citrus fruits, avocados and purple. With this invention, women were encouraged to actively pull concerted efforts in farming to focus on bringing about social and economic change. <laughs> Following the search criteria, the sessions were carried out without revealing the winner until the end of the training. And the group is Charia group. <laughs> Mefla na hii mlanti yetu ya machine 
kwa sababu tunajua tukiendelea hivyo tunaweza inuka kutoka pali tulikuwa mpaka tufike juu nawaambia wakina mama watie bidii sana kwa kasi sawa sa mashambani wasikae kwa kivuli saa yote waende shambani wafanye kazi ili wapate wapate kitu cha kujiendesha bila kutengemea mabwana zao you've given these women power power to not power to control but power that comes from within because power power from within is giving a person confidence to ensure sustainability the implementing partners have done a market survey which points to possible marketing options for the mango products that will be processed <laughs> By and large, the initiative to empower women farmers regardless of their socio-economic background can only promise a better and greener tomorrow.